It's also Friday, and I'm actually doing something that I say I'm gonna do for once, so today that means we're doing a First Impression Friday! The product that I have gotten so many requests, requests for, so many requests for, it's like if I opened a hotline, everybody would be calling in, now I'm a Drake song, to request this product. It is a face mask and it's called Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Bam! It even has a cute little piggy on it with a bubbly clay mask. I went on Amazon, I found it for about eight bucks, and just high five, I recently discovered Amazon Prime. I ordered it yesterday and the UPS man literally just put it in my hand today. Magical! Unfortunately though, the box comes with 0% English instructions, and when I opened it up, I was like, oh, I bet there's gonna be some instructions inside of there, but nope, all you get is the product with no English instructions on it. So I went on the interwebs and I asked Dr. Google and the instructions are scoop a proper amount. Okay, what's a proper amount? Proper amount to me might be different than it is to you. So that's a little bit ambiguous. Basically, you just scoop a proper amount out and rub it all over your face. And since it is carbonated, I think it is supposed to foam up and then you literally just remove it with lukewarm water in five minutes. Let's open up the jar. Maybe there's some kind of like measuring device in here. I don't know. Oh my gosh, maybe. Proper amount. Maybe this does not look like a proper amount to me though. I just want to scoop more of it on my face than this little scoop is gonna provide to me. So let's open it up even further. Unboxing this thing is like peeling layers of an onion. Ooh. I wish I had like a professional camera set up so I could be like zoom in for a closer look at the goop. But this is all we got. So that's my zooming in on a closer look at the goop. But just blah, 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 look at it. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder what would happen if I just put the whole pot on my face. Whoosh! My face would explode. So before I put this on my face, let's open the der Klocken function and set a timer for five minutes. Stopwatch. No. Timer. Yes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Is there a song about five minutes? I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere in the instructions if I should have or if I shouldn't have, but generally all face masks advise that you start off with a clean face. So before I started rolling, I scrubbed up my dirty face and took all the nasty dirtiness off. What would happen if I set this out at a party? And I was like, nah, guys, it's dip. Go ahead, put your tostadas in it. Is that a proper amount? I want more. I want more. I've got clippies and gloppies a plenty. Okay, here we go on the face. Ooh, it feels really cold. This is not gonna be enough. Okay, you guys, this is not a proper amount. This will do the bottom part of my face properly, but I'm gonna need more. It's not enough. All right, I'm gonna skip the eye area. Ooh, I already feel a change happening. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to put my face right on up close to the camera. I just got a whole bunch more because I cannot follow instructions, but I doubt if it's gonna kill me or make my face die. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm corrupting it. Are you guys seeing this? I feel like a goblin transforming in front of your very retinas, but look, the bottom of my face is already all foamy. Do you wanna touch it? Do you wanna touch my face? I hope that you do. If you touch my face, we get more friend points. Ah. Oh, I feel like I just like maybe inhaled a little bit of it. I got a little bit up my nostril. What am I gonna do about that? Mom, mom. My mom's not here, so I'm just screaming to no one. Let's ask this tea. Tea, what do I do? Drink it, okay. I feel like I can't sippy sippy. I just coughed, that's gross. Oh, my face is becoming thicker and foamier the transformation oh look 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 watch me breathe watch me breathe watch me breathe okay oh it's up my nose it's up my nose it's up my nose i'm gonna try and ignore it i'm like the mask move over jim carrey i'm taking your life and your face this is so exciting it's like 
I just put my face through a car wash or something. It feels so bubbly. I am really thoroughly enjoying this and I don't ever want this feeling to stop you guys. This is, oh my gosh, I've done something wrong. Okay, clearly you're probably supposed to immediately close it because maybe oxygen is what is making this magical science. Uh, magical science transformation happening. So I need to shut the bottle. I can't concentrate. It's foaming up my nose so bad. Why am I so dumb? Why did I know this? I can't do anything right. That's probably why I should have stopped with the proper amount. It feels like cereal, like snap, crackling, popping on my face. Oh, maybe you can hear my face. Can you hear it? It's like the sound of angels, but angels that are making my face look nicer. Just look at this. Look at this, you guys. I feel like you could go on a date like this and just like shock that someone special. Hey baby, I want some french fries. Oh my gosh, how many more minutes do we have? Only two more minutes that I get to look like this? <sighs> I wonder how many times I can do this. Probably not every day. It is a little entente in the nose area though. Like every time I'm talking, it's like my nose is vibrating also. It's like na 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 This one literally has no burning, no tingling, no nothing. It just literally feels like magical soapy bubbles. I kind of wish I knew what this was supposed to do. Once I wipe it off and wash it off, I'm gonna see if I can do a little research for you guys and see if I can tell y'all like the benefits and like why we're doing this. Carbonated clay. This is just my new face, you guys. Would y'all still love me if I was like this every day? I hope the answer is yes. I would still love you if you had a phony face. Hey, baby. I feel like we have only like 10 seconds. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's the final countdown. So before I take it off of my face really quick, I just wanna like put my finger in this stuff so you guys can see, look at that. Oh, now I made a hole. Okay, this is freaking me out. I have like trichotillomania, no, trypophobia. I don't know, I've got a lot of phobias, but like holes is one of them. So this is freaking me out a little bit, but I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for science. And just look at how thick this foam is off of my face. I just, wow, wow. This works amazingly. So I'm just gonna dampen this fresh cloth and then we're gonna wipe in my face. It's time to wipe in my face, wipe in my face. Let's wipe in my face. Okay, ooh, look at that. <gasps> So much foam. Ew! I can't tell if my face is red or not. Let's hope for the best. This feels so interesting. It kind of starts to tickle a little bit once you've had it on your face for a while. Ew, now I'm the Phantom of the Opera. So it doesn't look like my face is red, but I definitely feel like my cloth is too soapy now to continue. So I'm just gonna splash my face with water really quick look up some facts about what this was supposed to be doing for my skin. Why are we doing this today? I'll be back. As I was actually washing it off of my face, I felt like there was still enough soapy product there that I could make a lather and really like shampoo my face and then wash all of the product away. I will just say this does have quite a bit of a refreshing and pore tightening feeling to it. I looked up some more information and it has charcoal in it. I bet I said that already. I don't know what I said, but it has charcoal in it and this is a makeup remover. So I guess you can use it if you have makeup on and it is also a pore cleanser in one. I haven't found any information if I could do this every day or not, if it's a makeup remover. I'm not quite sure, but it does say that maybe it's a little bit more powerful because it's supposed to thoroughly go within your pores and remove like deep-seated dirt, remove sebum, things that clog your pores, which is really good because I do feel like yesterday I wore a much thicker foundation than I normally do. So maybe that's why my skin is feeling like more tightened and refreshed because it got all that 
stuff out from yesterday. I almost said nasty gunk, but I won't say that because I really did like the foundation. I don't know if you guys feel like this too, but it's just like on days when you wear like heavier stuff or just lots of makeup, it's like, I need this to get out of my pores tomorrow, you know? And sometimes just washing your face doesn't do it. I thoroughly had so much fun with this stuff. It's really inexpensive and I feel like you could get a lot of uses out of it. I definitely give this product two thumbs up. I am definitely going to use this whole thing. I am so thrilled. Thank you guys so much for requesting me to try this product because I feel like this is definitely going to be part of my skincare routine from now on. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you've seen another product that you would like for me to test out here on our First Impression Fridays, leave it as a suggestion down below. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wangs. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!